Unongside an ka jela meghalia u sujit de ha ka si pele jo ta yau u la pentep ba ka yeng ka sari meghalia high court kala pedang ya ka jing ujor ban song bisar halor ka jing dawa bade ban mat kerteng no ya u kartus marak kom u MLA ka bak marak constituency namar ba u de contractor u berang pentrei ya ki kam contract u sujit de u la yetu ba u nong ujor jong ujon marak u la kno ba u kartus marak Ha ka por ba ulit tap kerteng bani akun ya ka election MLA kum ukur tong klem seng na bak mara. Ula pen bena ha ka klos kendai jong ka affidavit jong u. Ba ka jing yok kamai ka jong u ka day leng ba ka jing tray ya ki kam kontrak bat ka sorka jela. Bat u day ru u kontrakta u bila dep register bat ka sorka jela. Bat yok bun tili ki kam ki ba ula dep tray bat ki ba udang tray. Ula itu ba u jon marak leng ba ka jing wak jing tip leng ba ka RTI ula siam ba u kartus. Udang pentre ye ki kam ki barang yak sakamat bat ulai yo jing tiap ru ba ka work order ka bala ada ka sorka jela ki ri ki kam ki barang yak sakamat uni unong sat an ulo ong ba u MLA ula ban syamat kerteng no kat kum ka artikel cheese pa kendai pu wei jong ka riti sensar kari bat kum ta u sanya scam ha ka section e jong ka artikel cheese pa kendai pu wei ka close ka bening kong ka ba ong ba ka nu ku nu ka an la da ubriu Ula syakjit ni temu ban yakun ni ke eleksyen um day setia bandang don ni kini unu ki kam kontrak ki barang yak syakamat. Bat unu unu u bandang don ya ke kam kontrak ki barang yak syakamat bat kesorkar on hap ban mat kerteng no mar do ri u. Ula ong bakat kum ka kendai i jong ka Representation of People's Act. La kedau syai ba unu unu beri u bandang don ya ki kam kontrak ki barang yak syakamat bat kesorkar on hap ban mat kerteng no ya u. Ulai tu baka yeng ka syari kala bisa reka ni kekam, batkan ai da ka notice ya u kartu ismarak. Ya ka Election Commission of India, bat ya u returning officer. Batka yeng ka syari kan sa syong bisa biang halor ka ni kejung ujor, hadiin lai ta yaw. Ula ong ba u returning officer la ni u RO u ba penyat ya ka election, u de ben kemi binyak ya ki kot ki sela ki jong u kartu is, da ka ba mat kerteng ni kentat nyo ya ki jeng tap kerteng ke jong u, ba ni akho ni ki election. Henry, Om lak bantip na ki iki dao bau ar u lap diang ya ke ni kejeng tap kerteng ke jong u. U sujit ula ong ba la da ka yeng ka syari ka rai penrem yu kartus. Kum ta un sya amat kerteng bat du no ya kejeng long MLA. Henry ka ni ke kam kadang don mentah hapo kejeng bisar. Kum ta om pat lak ban ong AA. The allegation which has been labeled by my client in a petition was that Mr. Kartus Marak while filing his nomination has declared that in, in clause 9 of his affidavit in form 26, he declared that source of income is government contract. He is a registered government contractor. And he has given quite a good number of work that he is executing or he ha has executed. So, he through an RTI, through his counsel, he find out that the work is subsisting work. And he being a local, he is also having the knowledge that the work order which was allotted to him by the government of Meghalaya is subsisting contract. A member who is elected in either in the legislative assembly or a council can be disqualified under Article 191 of the Constitution of India and 191 says that there are certain de um, laws which has been formulated. One of the clause on which we are relying heavily is section E of 191 clause 1. It says that any law if a person who has been elected or supposed to contract and uh, supposed to okay. contest an election, he should not have subsisting contract. He having any subsisting contract with the government will automatically disqualify him. So there is the law which says Representation of People Act 9A, Section 9A says if a person having a subsisting contract with the government, then he will automatically be disqualified. So here is the case where my client has projected in his through his election petition. The election petition is registered as election petition number one of 2023. 
and it was listed today before the Honorable Court. We have projected the case of my client and the Honorable Court was pleased to issue notice to the respondent. There are three respondents. Respondent number three is the Kartus Marak, Mr. Kartus Marak. Two other respondents, number one and two, are Election Commission of India and Returning Officer. Now, this affidavit which has been filed by Mr. Kartus Mara in form number 26, he has declared that he is a registered contractor and he is having a contract. Some of the contracts is subsisting contract according to the information of my client. So, the RO who has accepted the nomination papers of Mr. Kartush should have either disqualified him or rejected his nomination papers. But it has not done. Probably the RO, probably whoever was the RO, probably she or he was not very much well acquainted with the provision of law or maybe due to the oversight or what is the good reason for, for accepting, we don't know. So we have challenged before the Honourable Court and Honourable Court was pleased to issue notice after hearing us. So notice has and we have taken a step for notice today.